Hello, hello, my friends. We are in probably, I want to say, the final installment. It, the final installment of my actual collection, but the final video in this collection is one that's actually going to be a culmination of um, this entire collection video, as well as kicking off a new series on my channel. But today, we are going to be wrapping up sharing my entire candle collection with you by talking about Yankee Candle. Now, admittedly, this makes me a little bit sad, but Yankee Candle is my smallest candle collection. It is the brand that I have the least amount of candles from. Part of that is because for a long time, I don't really care for paraffin wax, and so a lot of their candles were in paraffin wax. I do know that their signature line, which is the majority of the candles that I have from Yankee, is more of like a soy paraffin blend of wax. Um, but even then, some of the jars that they come in are just, they're too large for me, or maybe they don't fit in a lot of the um, accessories that I use to burn candles. Now that may change this year with them introducing a new three wick format that is more in line with the uh, packaging that we are used to say from like Bath and Body Works or Goose Creek, um, which I don't really purchase from. Um, Kringle, their three wicks, they're all kind of getting on the same page here, which I personally like because it makes burning a lot easier. It makes the accessories a little bit more versatile. Um, but yeah, it makes me a little bit sad that Yankee is just, it. it's not as prominent on my radar because that is the brand that my mom started out with when I was a child in the 90s. She absolutely loved Yankee Candles and it's one that is still synonymous with like the OG of home fragrance for me. So I'm hoping that will change this year. As I have done in my previous videos where I shared with you my Bath and Body Works collection, my Kringle Candle collection, and my Homeworks Candle collection, I am filming this introduction for you but the actual candles I did turn the camera around and give you up close and personal uh, views of each of these candles. So I hope you have enjoyed this series. There is a reason why I have been sharing it with all of you and that video will be coming up probably I would say the last week of January, first week of February, somewhere around there. Um, and my goal in sharing this video is obviously not to brag. It is actually more so an accountability tool for me to make sure that I am prioritizing shopping my stash, enjoying the candles that I have already spent good money on. Um, and it's encouraging you to do the same because I know a lot of us in the home fragrance community, we love our candles. We love all of the new fragrances, but sometimes we get so caught up in the new, new, new that we forget about all of the good stuff that we already currently have. And we want to be good, wise stewards of, um, of the environment, of our finances, of um, just the things that we've been allowed to enjoy. And so that is really what I hope me sharing this with all of you will let you know that like, hey, I'm, I'm honestly in the same boat as a lot of you guys. I want to use my stash while also balancing. I just want balance, I guess, when it comes to enjoying this hobby of mine. All right, let's not go any longer. Um, if you're new to my channel and you want to stick around for content like this, I do hauls, I do empties, I do reviews. I do this candle collection series. I do a candle chit chat where I talk about fragrances that I think combine well together. If you want to stick around for more of that content, please hit the subscribe button, but let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the candles. All right, let's go ahead and talk about these candles that I have in front of me. So clearly I don't have a huge Yankee candle collection. I do hope to change that this year, um, especially with the launch of their three wicks. But until then, let's just look at what I have. So of course, if you've been with my channel for a long time, you guys know this one is a perennial holiday favorite for me. This has been around for goodness, I would say close to 30 years. I mean, I haven't had this candle for 30 years, but this fragrance has been around for 30 years. Home for the holidays. This is the fragrance that my mom always burned every Christmas. Now this is um, the candle that I have from, okay, come on. I actually have two of these in my collection. I still have one from 2022, and then this is from 2023. So you can see, you know, it's just one of their single wick paraffin wax. I actually don't like burning paraffin wax. Uh, this is actually the only paraffin wax candle that I do have in my collection currently because yeah, it's, it, the fragrance to me is just so sentimental. So this is very much like a tree. There's cedar wood in here. I smell cinnamon, um, get a little bit of nutmeg and clove. This is just like my quintessential Christmas time candle. Every time I smell it, I just think of 
my mom. Um, this candle I really enjoyed pairing with uh, Kringle's Wishing for Christmas. So if you're somebody who likes maybe a Christmas smell year round, uh, then I would really suggest pairing those two together. Um, but this is a wonderful Christmas fragrance and one that I honestly, as long as Yankee Candle makes it, it will be in my collection. All right, this is a new purchase for me, or I just bought it last month. This is now discontinued from Yankee, but this is soft wool and amber. My friend Samantha suggested this fragrance to me. Um, so you can see the wicks on there. Those are some very thick wicks. And honestly, you guys, this one, I think it like froze in shipping because if you watch it here, like you can see it kind of, I don't know if it'll do it, but it was sliding back and forth in the vessel. Maybe it's settled down a little bit more. So this fragrance to me, um, it's one of those, if you kind of like laundry scents, but it's kind of warm, it's not necessarily like a knit cashmere type of fragrance, but kind of in that lineup, it's very clean, very fresh. I feel like this is a candle that you would burn, um, on a day where you just have a nice clean home, especially if we're coming into doing some good spring cleaning. I feel like this is nice. It's not super cottony. There's like a, um, the, the amber note in here is what kind of, it gives a little bit of perfuminess to this um, so that it's not like a total cotton type of fragrance. I actually don't really detect cotton in this, but I'm not going to ramble on too much about this because it is a discontinued fragrance. You might be able to come across it in one of your um, local Yankee stores, but I do like that fragrance um, and I will actually probably be lighting it up here pretty soon. A candle that I'm actually going to burn right after I get done filming this is um, Holiday Zest. Now you're going to think, what on earth happened to that candle? Well, I'm gonna, going to explain here in just a minute. Now, um, that soft wool and amber and this, the rest of the Yankee candles that I have in my collection, this is in their, I believe it's their signature line. Um, which I believe is like a, a soy wax blend, maybe a, a wa like a blend of like some paraffin and soy. Um, okay, so Holiday Zest, this is like their version of an orange pomander. I actually really do like this fragrance. Now you're going to say, what did you do there? Okay, well, when my wicks get puny and the candles doesn't throw or burn very well, I dump out wax and then I relight it. So that's what happened there. Um, I will be putting this back in a hurricane um, when I light this up again, and we'll see if that sometimes helps the wicks correct. Now, I have not trimmed my wicks. I, I haven't touched them, but I do find that sometimes on the signature two wick tumblers, I do find that sometimes when I get to that halfway point, the wicks do start to burn a lot slower. They kind of want to dud out. I don't know if that's because they get less airflow or something as the, you know, as the wax dissipates, it might be a little bit harder for them to burn, but um, it's still a really nice fragrance. Um, I do find with this with this formula that when the wicks do kind of get that puny wick syndrome, sometimes the fragrance changes. Um, so this candle for me, I would say like strength and throw of maybe around like, it's like medium. I would give it like a four to a five. It's not super strong once it hits this halfway point. In the beginning, it's pretty strong for me. I would give it around like a seven. Um, but it's only around a five. So this is a candle that honestly, um, I'm going to give it a few more burns. This is a candle that I only see myself burning throughout the month of January. If there's still more of it left, if I don't finish it up this month, then what I will do is I will set it aside for next year. And I might end up throwing it in a crock next year when I go to use it. But we shall see on that one. A candle that I did keep from last year, um, this was from last spring, this is Easter Bouquet, and oh my word, the packaging alone on this candle sold me. I love the color of that wax with the floral notes on it. Oh my word, uh, yes, my little old lady grandma heart. I'm not an old lady or a grandma, and you know what, if you are, those two things are incredible blessings, so please don't take that as a slight to you. Um, but I, oh my goodness, I was loving this. Now you will see that around the rim, it got a little bit sooty. This is a beautiful floral, and I am somebody who typically does not really like floral fragrances. I think I pick up, is it hyacinth in here? I don't have the fragrance notes in front of me, and I'm trying to think, they don't have them on the bottom. This is a beautiful spring bouquet type of fragrance. I don't pick up rose, um, maybe some tulip in there, but not not super strong. Oh, it's just nice. There's like, it smells kind of like green. Um, it's more of like the green stems of a flower as opposed to like um, an overly heady floral. 
I really like this. This is a soft floral fragrance to my nose. So if you haven't had this one in your collection, bust it out again. I have mentioned this before, but I typically like to pair florals with like a vanilla gourmand type of fragrance just to kind of tamp down any headiness of a floral. But this is a candle that I hope to finish burning up this year. Um, and I plan to burn it this springtime. And then a candle that I liked in the summertime, no secret here, I love banana fragrances in the summer. This was Iced Banana Pop. This was from last year. Again, you can see a little bit of soot around the edges there. Um, this was really nice, very banana forward to me. Um, I get a slight, slight detection of cocoa in the background, but not super heavy. It's a creamy banana. I actually really, really liked this fragrance. Um, the wax did well for me so far so and again I don't trim the wicks and it was burning pretty well so not very exciting but that is it for my Yankee Candle collection like I said I hope to add to that this year I actually already have my eye on um, a candle that I know is going to be released in a three wick one of the fragrances um, and I hope to be picking that up pretty soon when those release. Um, but I do plan to try out some of the three wick formats to see how they burn now that they are bringing them into that like uh, 14 and a half ounce style jar, the ones that are similar to like Bath and Body Works or Kringle's Three Wick or Goose Creek. So um, yeah, that is it for my Yankee Candle collection. Let me know in the comment box down below. Are you excited about those Yankee three wicks? Um, are you somebody who loves supporting Yankee because they still have some paraffin wax? I know that there's still a lot of paraffin and wax lovers out there. For me personally, I just don't really care for them. Uh, they don't perform very well in my home, but I, you know, different strokes for different folks. All right, you guys, I want to say thank you so much for spending your time here with me today. Until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.